Hello, morning. Jessie here. I mean, uh, Kota Good Morning. Uh, Kota Good Morning. Really nothing project and zero waste Kota Good Morning. Uh, today's topic, uh, welcome back uh, to Daily Life 5 Minutes. Today's topic is about this Eco Bricks. Eco Bricks, we call this Eco Brick, Eco Brick, Eco Brick. How to do Eco Brick at home? Okay. Eco brick, uh, what is the purpose? Is to alle uh, to reduce the plastic like this plastic waste going to the landfill. So if you have this always uh, every day you get packaging item like this, you can actually make it them into eco bricks. And once you have completed the eco brick, compile it and then you can send it to City Zero Waste Store. She uh, Auntie Grace collects this and when there's enough volume then Eco Brick Malaysia will come to collect. Now what, uh, do check out their Facebook page on what they do with the eco bricks. Uh, it's actually bricks and can be used in um, construction of um, what they call a uh, small scale build, a uh, so small scale shelter like you want to make um, a storeroom in your garden, you can actually use the eco brick. It can also be used to uh, make a furniture like chair and table. So how to do eco brick? First you cut in uh, any plastic like this soft plastic which cannot be recycled cut them into stripes and then you cut it into piece, tiny pieces like this the smaller the better okay the smaller the better the pieces now you can also use this as a way you en uh, you engage and you bond with your family and your children you can actually teach them how to use uh, do eco brick during your free time so once you have this uh, small pieces, you stuff it into the uh, mineral water container. Now, mineral water container, it has to be the uh, 500 ml or 1 liter capacity. Okay, just put this, uh, put the pieces of plastic inside and you have a stick like this. Okay, to stuff it in and push it in. Okay, push it in, compress it, compress it, compress it. Do this every now, you do this every time, yeah? every time you uh, put in one batch of plastic, um, compress it. Okay, don't, uh, now one tip on, on doing eco is that you don't fill up the whole bottle, then only you start pressing down. Because it, it, it won't, you will miss out on the bottom part, it won't be, um, you see it's not dense. Now there is a standard uh, way for eco in Malaysia to check whether the eco is is um, suitable to be used or not. So. One way of checking is to press the side of the bottle. If it is like this, it's not, it's not usable. It has to be very uh, compressed. It has to be very tough because these are used to make, uh, like I said just now, it, it, it's used to make um, building and also furniture. It has to be very, very tough. So fill this up. As you put on new plastic, you press it down. Press it down until you achieve this kind of... Um, if you look at my finger closely, when I press it down, it still go in. Like this is still acceptable. And the eco brick is actually the complete one is actually very heavy. It's filled with uh, soft plastic that can't be recycled. So this is one way that we avoid um, uh, soft plastic from going to landfill is to make them into eco bricks. So keep on pr uh, pressing down, pressing down the uh, pieces of plastics. Okay, uh, let me show you again. So this is plastic stripes. And then we cut it into small pieces like this. You have to, uh, unfortunately, uh, there's no shortcut in doing eco bricks. You have to cut and shred them. Uh, if you stuff in big pieces of plastic, it won't be as compressed as you want it to be. So put them in. And then use a stick. Use a stick to press it down. And keep pressing down. Okay. Now, it's a very... Uh, to be honest, uh, it's a very ti uh, ti tedious and tiring process. Uh, I would personally recommend that you do this out of um, you turn this into a fun activity with your with your family, with your family, and only do this when you really really have free time. Uh, if you're really really determined to reduce any plastic uh, from going to the landfill, if you really really want to reduce your bins uh, and any plastic. You know, you don't want to throw any plastic. Use this way to avoid it. Um, of course, you need to clean the, the plastic bag first, whatever plastic bag that you are using. You need to clean it first, dry it first. Thank you, Grace. Um, you need to, you know, touch up a bit. Lah. <laughs> Go on video, right? I cannot come with a face like that. All right. Um,
so yeah, this is uh, the ways to make eco brick. Uh, last time when I first started uh, converting my uh, lifestyle to zero waste, I do this every day. I spend about one hour, one hour on uh, doing eco bricks. But then later I, I felt that it was really, really tiring. Uh, it was uh, tough for me. La. So then I uh, gave myself some break and I only do eco bricks when I really have the time. And uh, right now there is one whole bin of soft plastic still at the back of my house. Uh, I've not done, I've not finished all. It, it will never finish if you keep on buying and buying uh, things with packaging. It, this will never end, to tell you the truth. It will never end. So the only way to... Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, doing eco bricks, some say it's a blessing, some say it's a punishment. To, for me, it's quite a punishment because it's, um, it takes up a lot of effort and a lot of time to do. So stop bringing um, uh, any soft plastic back home, okay? Like I've shared with you videos on how to tap out food without creating any plastic waste. Can we use other types of bottle, soft drink bottle? Um, there, I am not sure what's the latest uh, standard of EcoBrick Malaysia, but uh, on the safe side, these mineral bottles are the best, uh, best uh, choice for you to stuff eco bricks in, uh, for you to make eco bricks. So soft drink bottles sometimes they come in fancy design, which uh, eco bricks Malaysia might not, uh, might not uh, want to accept after you have done it. So to be safe, just use uh, this standard size uh, mineral water bottle, five hundred ml, and also one liter. For me, I, uh, I have a few completed one which I turn them into garden dividers. Uh, I put it at the the what do you call the I line my garden with this to, so that my soil don't get washed away. Same here, good reminder to myself, don't create food wrapper. Yes, uh, I tell you it's really, really tough, Th especially on uh, things like, you know, like for example, the Korean seaweed, they are so oily and then you need to wash after you consume it. Uh, you need to wash it, dry it and then shred it and then stuff it into the bottle, press it down, press it down and keep doing it every day, keep doing it every day. So it's, it's very, it's very tough. Uh, uh, for, I salute those who can really, really um, avoid all this in their bins, avoid bringing all these things back. So um, yeah, that's, that's for today's sharing. Um, uh, I will upload this video on YouTube. Go to my YouTube channel, uh, JC Leong. Go to my YouTube channel and uh, later you will find a lot of my previous um, live, daily live video there on tips and how to go zero waste step by step. So every day I will input uh, new tips and new ways. So guys, thank you for watching and um, happy Tuesday. See ya.